Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel and today guys I'm going to be showing you a quick and easy weeknight meal and it's called Philly Cheese Steak Pasta. So if you think you might be interested in that honey you might as well go ahead and take a seat and grab your ingredients so we can get started. all right guys so i have my large cast iron skillet this is the 12 13 inch one and i'm going to start off over medium heat we're going to heat up a little bit of olive oil and i'm going to add in my fresh veggies so you're going to need a whole bell pepper i sliced red and green half of both and it made a whole and then i have half of a yellow onion that i've also sliced or julienne okay we're going to give that a quick little little toss a little saute get it nice and coated because we got to add our meat in too you don't want to cook the veggies all the way down so for this pasta i'm using a half pound of shaved ribeye steak this is shaved steak y'all you can use regular ribeye or any kind of steak of your choice but this is the best option okay i have a tablespoon of dale's steak seasoning if you don't have that it is local to where i live if you don't have that where you are you can definitely use worcestershire sauce in this place but i have dale's steak seasoning i have some seasoned salt that i threw in there just a teaspoon a half teaspoon of black pepper and one teaspoon of garlic powder Y'all, that's all we need to season up this steak. Now, if you want to use any other seasoning, you know, that's up to you, honey. Go for it. But we're going to brown the meat for about five to seven minutes or cook it until it is nice and brown. We do not want any pink in this recipe, okay? And remember, if you want to use the little frozen little patties, you can use those if you want a more inexpensive option, okay? But once you get your meat cooked, go ahead and take that meat and your veggies out. Look at that. You could take that right there and slap it on top of some bread and have you a Philly cheese steak, honey. Throw you some cheese, whatever you want to do, okay? But that's not what we're doing today. We're making pasta. So remove that from the pan. This is a one-pot meal, so you don't have to worry about, you know, adding all these different dishes. Add you in a little bit of butter because now we're going to work on our sauce. So I have half of a diced onion, okay? And we're just going to saute that up for about a minute or two or until it's slightly translucent. Ooh. <laughs> slightly translucent and if you want to use a shallot honey you can but i'm using the other half of the onion i already had i'm going to add in a teaspoon of minced garlic that is the garlic out of the container because i didn't feel like chopping up any and that's my prerogative but if you want to you can but add your garlic in make sure you don't add it in at the same time as the onion because then it'll burn and we don't want that and this is optional, but I added in just a little splash of chicken broth only because I'm using a cast iron skillet. I'm on an open flame and I don't want no, no, no big bits in my sauce. Okay. I want to get that fond up and deglaze the pan so we can have some additional flavor. That's why I added that, but you don't have to. I also added in one pint of heavy whipping cream. Okay. Not half and half, but heavy whipping cream. And I just gave that a quick mix. We're going to reduce our heat to a low simmer. You don't want to boil this. And once you see the smoke coming off of that cream, once it's warmed up, go ahead and add in your shredded cheese. I'm using a mixed blend of Parmesan, Asiago, and other cheeses that I bought from Trader Joe's. Okay, it came in one pack, but you can use Parmesan. Mix that in, get it nice and incorporated, and then let it simmer for about two minutes until it gets nice and thickened, okay? Once you thicken it, add in a teaspoon of salt or, you know, add it to taste. You can use any kind of seasoning of your, of your choice. I'm just using plain salt. And then I add a, a half teaspoon of black pepper and a half teaspoon of onion powder. That's all I wanted to add to mine because I want the meat to come through, okay? I want my sauce to have flavor, but I want the meat to shine through. You heard me. Now, you see, my sauce has a little bit of give, okay? You don't want it to get too thick because then it's going to dry your pasta out. But once you get it to where you want it, add your pasta, your cooked pasta, okay? It should only be cooked pasta from this point. Add your meat and peppers in and go ahead and mix that. If you want to add additional cheese, you can. I think I added just a little bit off camera. But if you want to add a little cheese, you can. Y'all, I added it in a little bit at a time because I wanted to make sure that my ratio was perfect. If you add all of it in and you say, oh, I ain't got enough sauce or I ain't got enough meat, that's going to be on you, honey. 
Now, I use the measurements for a reason. That's why I want yours to come out the same way. But, you know, sometimes we don't follow directions well. So, just add in as much as you feel necessary until you get it to the consistency you want. You see, I added in some more pasta and more meat, and it worked out fine, okay? Once you get it mixed up, go ahead and take your shredded mozzarella cheese or any cheese of your choice, okay? Top it off. I put a little parsley just for color, and we're going to pop this in the oven, okay? We want that cheese to be nice and crusty. And I broiled it until it got like this. Look at that. Honey, you talking about a meal, baby? Look at how delicious that looks. So all that's left to do now is for us to plate it up. And there you have it, guys, our delicious, quick and easy, one-pot Philly cheesesteak pasta. Y'all, I'm telling you, it is absolutely delicious. And if you love cheesesteaks and you love pasta, this is perfect for you, okay? So, as always, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you for tuning in to my channel. And if you try this recipe out, let me know down in the comments. And I will see y'all next time in the next video. Bye!